in the latter time of their kingdom, when transgressors have reached their full measure, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences will arise. His power will be mighty, not of his own accord, and he will destroy wonderfully, prosper in his endeavors, and annihilate both the mighty and the holy people. Through his cunning policies, he will cause craft to prosper, magnify himself in his heart, and, under the guise of peace, destroy many. This ruler will also stand against the prince of princes, but will be broken without human intervention. This prophetic passage is applicable to both Antiochus and the Antichrist Antiochus, a historical figure who ruled as a Seleucid king in the 2nd century BC, is notorious for oppressive policies and persecution of the Jewish people in Judea. His attempts to Hellenize the Jewish population included imposing Greek culture, religion, and practices, such as the worship of Greek gods and idols in the Jewish temple in Jerusalem. This passage illustrates a dual fulfillment, one in the recent past and another in the distant future. The description of a king with a fierce countenance and an understanding of dark sentences portrays a ruler with a stern appearance and the ability to comprehend cryptic or enigmatic statements. Antiochus Epiphanes, known for his cruel brutality, exemplifies this characteristic, which is also expected in the future Antichrist. Antiochus's brutality is evident in five key aspects. Firstly, he persecuted Judaism by banning religious practices such as the Sabbath and circumcision. Secondly, he desecrated the temple by defiling the altar with pagan sacrifices and erecting an altar to Zeus within it. Thirdly, he enforced Hellenization by imposing the worship of Greek gods and idols on the Jews, penalizing those who resisted. Fourthly, he inflicted harsh punishments on those who defied his orders or continued practicing Judaism, leading to persecution, torture, and death. Lastly, he suppressed dissent using military force to maintain control over his empire. As we explore the topic of the New World Order and its biblical implications, this passage serves as a reminder of historical and future instances where oppressive rulers seek to control and manipulate religious practices and freedoms. It is crucial to acknowledge that the discussed passages, including Daniel, offer valuable insights into both the spiritual and geopolitical forces at play. These scriptures not only illuminate historical events, such as the reign of Antiochus Epiphanes, but also provide a glimpse into the prophetic future, depicting the emergence of the Antichrist, a figure of great power and malevolence, as described in Revelation. In particular, Revelation 13 provides a detailed account of the rise of the beast from the sea and the beast from the earth, symbolizing the Antichrist and the false prophet, respectively. These two individuals align against God's plan, with imagery reminiscent of the characteristics described in Daniel 8. The connection between the prophecies of Daniel and Revelation underscores the consistency of God's message throughout Scripture. Revelation 13.10 depicts the beast from the sea rising to power, worshipped by people. This beast is identified as the Antichrist, wielding significant political and religious authority over the world. Although the term New World Order is not explicitly mentioned in the Bible, the scriptures provide insights into a future where the Antichrist will exert complete control over global systems. Biblical prophecies, such as Revelation, offer a glimpse into a future where a powerful individual closely associated with a world-dominating government will rise to power. Revelation 13-16 describes a scenario in which the Antichrist mandates a mark on individuals symbolizing allegiance to his rule and representing a chilling form of control over the world's population. Revelation 13 suggests that the beast referred to is a person, the Antichrist, closely associated with his globally dominant government. This alignment between the ruler and his government emphasizes the immense authority and influence of the Antichrist in the prophesied end times. Returning to the passage in Daniel, we find another example of prophecy offering insights into the characteristics of the Antichrist. Although initially connected to historical events involving Antiochus, this passage also serves as a foreshadowing of the Antichrist's rise in the distant future. The description of a ruler with a fierce countenance and an understanding of cryptic statements mirrors the traits attributed to the Antichrist, 
who will emerge as a powerful and malevolent figure. Exploring these biblical implications requires recognition of the consistency in God's message throughout Scripture. Both the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation provide valuable insights into the spiritual and geopolitical forces at play during the end times. While the term New World Order may not be explicitly found in the Bible, the concept of a global ruler with absolute control is present in these prophetic passages. As believers, it is crucial to study and discern these prophecies to better understand the challenges and spiritual warfare that may arise in the future. As previously mentioned, one of the most significant impacts of a one-world government would be felt within the economic sector. According to the Bible, the beast will compel individuals, regardless of their status, to receive a mark on their foreheads or right hands. Without this mark, they will be unable to engage in any economic or financial transactions. While the Bible does not explicitly state that the Antichrist will introduce a cashless society, many Bible scholars have concluded that it would be a necessary component. This inference is drawn from the idea that as long as people use physical cash, transactions can occur privately. However, if all forms of currency become electronic, every transaction can be closely monitored. With the rapid advancement of technology, the infrastructure required for the enforcement of the mark of the beast is already in place. Consider the pace of change just a century ago. ATMs, debit cards, and digital currencies did not exist. These technological innovations have emerged in the last century, setting the stage for a transition towards a more digitized and monitored economic system. In recent times, there have been developments in the retail sector that have revolutionized the way we shop. Stores that have dispensed with traditional checkout processes and cashiers are transforming the way we shop. Imagine entering a store where you can simply pick up the items you want and leave, with the payment process completely automated. In these innovative stores, advanced technologies such as sensors, cameras, and artificial intelligence play a crucial role. As you select items and place them in your cart, the store system tracks your choices in real time. When you're ready to leave, your account is automatically charged for the total cost of the items, eliminating the need for cashiers or traditional checkouts. The world described in Revelation doesn't seem so distant anymore. The infrastructure required for Revelation is already in place. In the book of Matthew, Satan offered the kingdoms of the world to Jesus, showcasing them from a high mountain and tempting him to worship. Satan, often referred to as the god of this world, holds dominion over the kingdoms of the world. This biblical narrative sheds light on Satan's character, position, and abilities. In Revelation, an angel known as Apollyon, meaning the destroyer, is mentioned. This title carries profound implications about the nature and role of this entity. The Bible explicitly describes Satan as the god of this world, emphasizing the significance of such titles. When Satan offered Jesus authority over worldly kingdoms, it wasn't an empty boast. He genuinely possessed the power to make such an offer. Jesus corrected him, emphasizing that worship should be reserved for God alone. As people worship the beast and submit to his government, they unwittingly bow down to Satan himself, acknowledging his immense power and authority as the God of this world. Understanding Lucifer's influence is crucial in the tumultuous times we face today. In this world, as believers, it is imperative that we do not underestimate the cunning and malevolent influence wielded by the adversary over people and nations. The Bible offers profound insights into the workings of the ultimate deceiver, who seeks to corrupt and destroy all that is good and righteous. In the book of Daniel, specifically in Daniel, a prophetic vision foretells the rise of a ruler in the latter days. Described as having a fierce countenance and an understanding of dark sentences, this ruler will stand up and exert great power, causing havoc and destruction, even against the mighty and the holy people. Through cunning policies, he will promote deceit and craftiness, magnifying himself in his heart and using the guise of peace to deceive men. Crucially, this ruler will stand up against the prince of princes, but ultimately, he will be broken without human intervention. This prophetic passage serves as a dual fulfillment, with one aspect relating to Antiochus Epiphanes in the near past 
and another pointing to the future Antichrist. Both figures share a common trait, representing a malevolent ruler with a stern countenance and an ability to decipher cryptic statements. The description of the Antichrist's rise to power mirrors that of the ruler in this passage, underscoring the importance of understanding the spiritual and geopolitical forces at play in the world. Revelation 13 provides a detailed account of the rise of two beasts, one from the sea and another from the earth, representing the Antichrist and the false prophet. Together, they form a powerful alliance against God's divine plan. The characteristics of the first beast align with those described in Daniel 23 minus 25, emphasizing the importance of recognizing the signs of the times and the spiritual warfare unfolding. The power and influence of Satan in this world cannot be underestimated, as he is the mastermind behind the deception and chaos witnessed today. As believers, we must remain vigilant and discerning, recognizing the signs of the times and the spiritual warfare that is unfolding. The Bible warns us of the ultimate deception that will sweep the world as people submit to the authority of the Antichrist and unwittingly bow down to Satan himself. When Satan tempted Jesus in the wilderness, offering him authority over the kingdoms of the world, it was a reminder that Satan holds real power over the kingdoms of this world. The Antichrist, empowered by Satan, will rise to rule over the kingdoms of this world, bringing about unprecedented deception and tribulation. In times when the lines between good and evil seem blurred, turning to the word of God for guidance and discernment becomes crucial. The rise of ideologies that call good evil and evil good should not surprise us, as these are tactics Satan employs to deceive and manipulate. As believers, our faith and trust in God must remain unwavering, and our knowledge of these prophetic truths will serve as a guiding light in the midst of uncertainty. Let us remain vigilant, prayerful, and steadfast in our commitment to God's truth, while the new world order may be a topic of debate and speculation. Biblical prophecies are clear. A time of great tribulation and deception is coming. In the face of these challenges, our ultimate hope rests not in the systems of this world, but in the triumphant return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.